This is crazy. Things are seriously getting pretty crazy right now. What do I mean by that? Well, some of the world's biggest batteries have been built over the past 12 months. And they're big. They're massive. In fact, Tesla just finished an enormous battery project. In fact, it's the biggest battery in the world. But now, it will be dwarfed by this new battery in New South Wales and possibly by a new battery on the other side of Australia in Western Australia. The game just keeps on getting rammed up. It's like someone breaks the record and someone else says, hold my beer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans and batteries are so crucial. Crucial to the world. Crucial to solving the energy crisis. Crucial to solving pretty much all the world's challenges. Combine very affordable now, solar with wind generation and batteries, and we have the solutions that we need. Why? Well, the price of lithium keeps on coming down. This year, it's come down by 60%. Not only that, but the ability to produce massive amounts of lithium ion phosphate batteries at affordable prices is changing by the pretty much by the week. Battery factories are ramping and EV batteries and storage batteries are going through the roof in terms of their actual production. We're seeing that now in the biggest batteries in the world. What are the biggest batteries in the world? Well, here are the top six and these batteries will probably be pretty small by the time these ones are done, completed 100%. By then, we're going to see new projects on the horizon, which will be far, far bigger. PG&E's Moss Landing substation. It's massive. It involves four separate energy storage projects. Two of them are big, should become the world's largest battery systems. Dinergy has deployed an 800 megawatt 1,200 megawatt hour project on PG&E's grid, while the Tesla project will be an additional 182.5 megawatts and 730 megawatt hours of energy storage, of energy generation, which could eventually hit 1.1 gigawatt hours. As of the 15th of October, 2022, the world's largest single phase battery was up and running. Its name is Crimson Storage, and it's the world's largest single phase battery. It's now live in the California desert. Crimson Storage is the second largest energy storage project currently in operation in any configuration. The 350 megawatt, 1,400 megawatt hour battery project, which sits on 2,000 acres of in Riverside County, actually broke ground in 2021. Some of the other enormous batteries in the world right now today include the Dalian Flow Battery Energy Storage Peak Shaving Power Station in China. It has a capacity of 200 megawatts and 800 megawatt hours in total. The Victorian Big Battery in Australia, which was actually built by Tesla as well, has a capacity of 300 megawatts and 450 megawatt hours. The Pacific Gas and Electric PG&E Battery Energy Storage, or BESS, project in California has a capacity of 182.5 megawatts and 730 megawatt hours. The Hornsdale Power Reserve in South Australia has a capacity of 150 megawatts or 193.5 megawatt hours. Now, the Hornsdale Power Reserve was originally the biggest battery in the world. That's before it actually was doubled in size to what it's at today. But as you can see, it's nowhere near as big as the biggest batteries. However, only about two weeks ago, the West Australian government announced that they would be building the biggest battery in the world by a large margin. I made a video about that. I'll put a link in the description below. Well, now New South Wales, which is on the complete opposite side of Australia, has gone, yeah, nah, hold my beer. That ain't nothing. I'm serious. The New South Wales government has approved Gantuan 1.4 gigawatt slash 2.8 gigawatt hour battery for New South Wales. The New England mega project just became more mega. It's now set to house 2.8 gigawatt hour battery pack, which is clearly by far the largest in the world. It's almost double, in fact. It's so big, it can power millions of homes. 
it'll take the crown for Australia's biggest battery, but not only Australia's biggest battery, it'll be the biggest in the world unless someone else can beat it. The Western Australian battery, you never know. Maybe they'll up the ante and make theirs even bigger to beat New South Wales. Maybe someone else will come along. This is all changing and happening so fast. It's quite incredible. What's even more incredible about this is it's sitting right next to another one of the biggest batteries in the world. Australia says the New South Wales government has approved its expanded battery proposal, which is set to go in next door to its 720 megawatt New England solar project, which will sit next to, right next door, to one of the biggest solar farms anywhere in the world. Now, luckily for Australians, we have a lot of sun here in this country. We have a lot of land, a lot of desert, not a lot of people living here. We've got 25 million people on this massive country. That's less than what live in California. In fact, it's far less than what live in California. It's actually quite difficult to make videos about the world's biggest batteries because it's always changing. There's new announcements going on almost every single week. What a time to be alive. I mean, this is the solution. We're seeing the cost of solar power now. Go to less than two cents per kilowatt hour. Go to less than two cents per kilowatt in the tenders we've seen recently. In fact, as low as even one cent per kilowatt. That is five times cheaper than coal. If you have massive battery packs like this, imagine what you can do. The world's really changing fast in some really good ways. Now, yes, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world that sucks, that's bad, that's terrible. But this, my friends, this stuff is absolutely amazing and it blows my mind. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.